How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, the guy that you see standing next to Trump is Carl Higby. I'm going to read some things about Carl Higby before I get deeper into this. All right. Well, his actual birth name is Carlton Higby, but they call him Carl. Anyway, he was born in 1983. He is a he is an American former Navy SEAL who served two tours of duty in Operation Kuwait Freedom, reaching the rank of Special Warfare Operator First Class. He has written two books about his experience. Higby is a spokesman for the Great American Super PAC, which advocate for the election of Donald Trump and continues to support his presidential transition. And also he is, uh, he regularly appears as a commentator on Fox News and CNN. Well, my royal family, today the all-American white boy resigns. I wonder why he resigned my royal family. Well, I got two videos for the royal family. So y'all can get a better understanding why he resigned. News tonight of another resignation from the Trump administration. It's the man who was the chief of external affairs for AmeriCorps, the federal government's volunteer service organization that connects volunteers with service opportunities in some of the nation's poorest areas. An investigation by CNN's K-File found that the appointee, Carl Higby, who we should point out has been a guest on this and other news networks, had a pattern of making racist, sexist, anti-Muslim, and anti-gay comments on radio broadcasts stretching back years. Just two examples. He told listeners black Americans had, quote, lax morals, and another time declared that he hated gay people, apparently talking about all gay people, every one of them. Higby was the host of a radio program called Sound of Freedom. All right, all right, all right, my royal family. Let me get this, take that down quickly. So, what is going on, my royal family? As Trump have gave a thumbs up to America that you can say and do anything you want. See, he don't get any consequences. But whoever they can touch, they going to touch. And I tell you what's ironic about this, my royal family. It's all fake. Isn't that ironic? It's all fake. Because this is what they believe. Who do they think they're fooling? It's all fake. <laughs> this country is so funny. They act like they have morals. They're so full of shit. So anyway, my royal family. But on top of that, you know... Anybody to work around Trump, for the most part, they dumb to the core. So let's continue on with the next video. Thing, um, this just popped up on my phone. I have the Fox News app, and it updates me. Rhode Island, land of more liberals, has just okayed gay marriage. Congratulations. You suck, Rhode Island. Why would you do that? Go ahead and twist the knife a little little bit more. I mean, you are breaking the morals, the moral fiber of our country. You know, I don't like gay people. I just don't. People say, you know, you're so harsh. I was called an Islamophobe the other day. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not afraid of them. I don't like them. Big difference. <laughs> And um, they were like, well, you're racist. I was like, fine, if that's the definition of it, then I guess I am. What's so wrong with wanting to put up a fence and saying, hey, everybody with a gun, if you want to go shoot people coming across our border illegally, you can do it faux free, and you can do it on your own, and you'll be under the command of a you know, National Guard unit or a Border Patrol unit. I think stick a fence six feet high with signs on it in both English and Spanish as you cross this border, this is the American border. You cross it, we're going to shoot you. Wow. 
Well, he kept it core, my royal family, didn't he? He said he was racist. He don't like gay people. This is the true corn-fed, all-American, white boy. And Trump feels the same way, my royal family. He truly do. Truly, truly do. So, since he got his foot stuck up his ass and mouth at the same time, then they go through the motions and say, well, he resigned. But he got another job. So who the fuck they think they fooling in this system? They sales. They're not fooling the royal family. This is a total fucking joke. But I had to put the video up because I'm doing everything I can not to laugh. That you got to think about this, my royal family. They repeatedly keep doing the same thing that has always worked for them. They cannot elevate no further than this. And they feel like they are untouchable. So he's just speaking truth to the depths of his soul. Or like I say, core truth. So why are we faking my royal family? Hmm. Well, really, my royal family, I take that back. Why are they faking? Because we know what's going on. The only ones of us that fake are, you know, those coons, toms, sallies. Buck dancers, bed wenches, them type of people. But let's stop all the fake bullshit. And let's really get down to business. We fully understand what's going on in this cesspool. So anyway, my royal family, render your voice like you always do. Mix it up. But this shit is so fake. <laughs> So anyway, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I say, what a fucking joke. <laughs>